When Pope Francis entered Paul VI's audience hall, these Paraguayan pilgrims stopped him to give him chipa, a cheese-flavored bread roll. The Pope seemed to like the treat. Then he greeted many babies, and he stopped with several elders. In his catechesis, he recalled the keys to his trip to the Arab Emirates, which he returned from on Tuesday afternoon. The Pope said while well, there, he prayed for the dialogue between Christianity and Islam to contribute to peace in today's world. He remembered the important documents signed with the spiritual leader of the Sunni Muslims. Abbiamo firmato il documento sulla fratellanza umana, nel quale insieme affermiamo la comune vocazione di tutti gli uomini e le donne ad essere fratelli in quanto figli e figlie di Dio. Condanniamo ogni forma di violenza, specialmente quella rivestita di motivazioni religiose, e ci impegniamo a diffondere nel mondo i valori autentici e la pace. Pope Francis asked Catholics to read and reflect on the document. It will help in understanding that although Christians and Muslims are different, they share some values. These are respect for life, family, the elderly, education of young people, and religious importance. In an epoca come la nostra, in cui è forte la tentazione di vedere in atto uno scontro tra le civiltà cristiane e quella islamica, e anche di considerare le religioni come fonte di conflitto, Abbiamo voluto dare un ulteriore segno chiaro e deciso che invece è possibile incontrarsi, è possibile rispettarsi e dialogare. At the end of the general audience, the Pope asked for prayers for the 28 people who died this weekend during a shipwreck in the Bahamas. It was a boat with migrants from Haiti. Filius et Spiritus Sanctus. Would you like to see the Pope up close and personal? Download the Rome Reports app right now on your phone. There are versions available for both iPhone and Android, in Spanish and English. You will receive the best images of Pope Francis every day right to your cell phone, including his daily homily, his trips around the world, his meetings with global leaders, his acts of mercy to the needy, all this in a short and direct format, brief videos of one to two minutes, so you can watch wherever you are. Open your cell phone now, download the Rome Reports app, and follow Pope Francis everywhere.